Yep, just like my Fright Night review, I'm still amidst the Great Allergy Attack 2011. However, if I had to go through this again or watch Spy Kids 4, I don't know. Spy Kids 4D all the time in the world. So I saw this movie early, so I didn't get to experience the 4D aromascope scratch and sniff bullshit. However, if I really wanted my scratch and sniff card bad enough, I could probably find it securely stuck to some kid's peachy in 1989. If you guys don't know what that is, apparently when you go and watch Spy Kids 4, you get this little scratch and sniff sticker that has numbers on it. When the numbers blink on the screen on the movie, you scratch that number and sniff it, and there, there you go. You're supposed to like smell what they smell. But every time it happens in the movie, it's almost like the scene is a byproduct of the idea of aromascope. It was like they were like, all right, we need to design these little jokes and make these little shots and make these moments and scenes in this movie so we can have scratch and sniff stickers. It's bullshit. It's like the Star Wars prequels where you look at it and you're like, yeah, Lucas made the pod race scene so we can make like 28 video games about it. Which is funny because when I saw 4D aromascope, I thought one thing. Human centipede too, baby. Which apparently Robert Rodriguez thought also because there are moments in here, I swear to you, the baby shits his pants and it tells you, oh, scratch number six. Why would I want to smell that? That's like when you pull something out of the fridge and you're like, oh, dude, smell that. No, why would I know? And that's pretty much half the humor of Spy Kids 4. If I see one more shit farter ass joke, I'm actually gonna snap. So when Spy Kids 4, the clock master or time master, whoever, Jeremy Piven, is speeding up time, so everyone's losing time, so now they gotta stop him. Which is funny, because yeah, Jeremy Piven and Joel McHale are in this movie. So at what point were Jeremy Piven and Joel McHale like, you know what, we got stuff going for us, let's be in Spy Kids 4. That's a good career move, right? There's no need. No need to do that. Well, in any case, two new kids become new Spy Kids, and now they all, you know, gotta stop the bad guy. But the chick from the original Spy Kids movie, she's in here, she's all grown up, she's hot now. That's always cool when you haven't seen some kid actor for like a decade, and then you see her again, you're like, oh, dude, she's hot now. Awesome. Which is funny, because I haven't seen the old Spy Kids movies for like 10 years. I saw them like once. But I remember walking out of them going, oh, okay, yeah, those are fun family movies. This is not like that. This is just really stupid. I remember watching and liking a selection of stuff when I was a kid. I don't remember any of them insulting the intelligence of children. Some of them are, you know, I couldn't watch them now. But rest assured, if I did watch them now, I'd be like, oh, that's cool for kids. Like, when I was a kid, I recognized Ninja Turtles 3 was not good. It didn't happen. Ever. G.I. Joe apparently failed the world because I never joined the army, so the propaganda didn't work. Transformers, still cool. You get it. Spy Kids, just... No. I went into this movie hoping for a fun family movie. I walked out going, kids are actually gonna get dumber from this movie. It's sad, but it's a truth. So would this movie be a good time if you're drunk? No, I'm trash, I still hate it. Then it looks like Spy Kids 4D aromascope all the time in the world is E equals MC dog shit. I feel like I have just violated physics itself using Einstein's theory of relativity in the rating for this movie. I apologize, Albert. Won't happen again. For the sake of them not making another Spy Kids movie, don't watch this movie. Why would you do that to your kids? Like, take your kids to see this movie if they really screw up. Like, if little Billy slaps little Sally in the head, be like, you know what, now you're watching Spy Kids 4 and you're gonna have to smell the baby's little shitty diaper when it tells you to scratch and sniff number six. Billy won't do that again. Why did I watch this movie and why am I reviewing it? One simple reason. To piss off everyone who says, Jeremy, you need to review the Smurfs. I guess I'm a dick, it's fine. I can say that because I have to fly down to California like at three in the morning, I might not get the Conan review up until like Tuesday. So I'm sorry about that. It's not like I watched this in place of Conan. I wouldn't be able to watch Conan until tonight anyway. So it's just, it's just time. But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.